Hello everyone. I made this video uh, to help anyone who is uh, trying to generate a life certificate using G1 Praman uh, and uh, this is specifically using a biometric device uh, that has been purchased in uh, uh, United States of America. This may not be applicable to uh, other vendor devices as well as the devices that is purchased uh, outside America. So this is specifically for the ones uh, that to this is meant for Secugen HU20. Uh, it's also called a Secugen Hamster Pro HU20 device. So I have listed here uh, the hardware and uh, other requirements uh, that you need prior to you know generating the certificate. Uh, for hardware, like uh, I am using here Secugen Hamster Pro HU20, which is a biometric device, and I have actually added the link from where you can buy this device. They have partner sites from where like you can actually buy this, and I have used Windows 10 PC for this. And once you have set up uh, the biometric device and RD service established, you will need uh, this information, the one that I have posted here, like Aadhaar number, Indian mobile number, because you should uh, be able to receive OTP messages. You can actually get uh, OTP over email too, but when you have to download the certificate at the end, then you will need uh, OTP of your mobile number because they don't send that to the email. They typically send it to the mobile number. That's what happened to me. So and the pensioner name, type of pension, sanctioning authority, uh, dispersing agency, PPO number, account number. And this is a process on how you can register uh, the device with RD surveys. So in order to register for the device, since this is purchased in uh, California or America, the register number, uh, the, sorry, the serial number on the device uh, you cannot use that to register with the RD service. So what you have to do is like take the copy of invoice and then take the photo of the serial number and uh, send it to the Secugen vendor. So you can actually provide them your invoice copy or you know your email confirmation, whatever you have received with the order number of the device. And then either you can email it to them from their website, secugenindia.com, or you can even WhatsApp. Like I have posted the WhatsApp number and the helpline numbers also here. But uh, please make sure this you need to actually check their website to get the updated numbers if things are changing, uh, you know, frequently. So once you provide it to them, they will be able to uh, register your specific serial number device with the RD service and you will have to pay some uh, minimal charges too. I think like I paid like six or seven, uh, seven or eight dollars in order to register this. Um, it could vary from vendor to vendor and uh, device to device. OK, so once you have it registered, uh, with the RD service on your PC, like I use Windows 10 here, you were supposed to install some of the biometric device drivers. I have actually added the link here and then uh, RD service application that you have to install. So once you have them installed, uh, you can actually see if you go to the device manager on your computer, you can see under biometric like Secugen fingerprint device. So you should be able to see that you should not see a yellow bang or anything like it should be like very clear. Then it is like properly installed. So in order to check uh, if uh, the RD service installation is properly working, so you need to uh, download the uh, software from the link here. Uh, and then like once you download it to your computer, extract, uh, unzip the file, it's a zip file. So you have to unzip and then follow the instructions uh, uh, to continue the installation. So once you have it installed, uh, the RD service on a Windows 10 64-bit computer, it's typically saved uh, under C drive program files x86, Secugen and RD service. So once you go there, you should be able to uh, run the application um, it's called like uh, sg uh, client.exe so when you run it like it actually opens up this uh, 
SecureGen RD service client and uh, it will start loading the message. So that is the indication that, you know, like it is actually connecting to the RD service. And when it says uh, uh, device ready, so you should be able to now launch your G1 Praman application. So when actually like trying to use this from uh, US, you have uh, an issue where like it says, you know, timestamp uh, value is expired. This is the first message that you usually receive because your computer time and time zone is date and time zone is set to the current uh, US location. So with that you need to uh, change it to um, India time zone. So you can actually go to the control panel and then go to the time and uh, date section in there like check the location, you know, change the location to Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai and New Delhi and then again in the same section you have internet time wherein like you know you select the server instead of like a default times.windows.com or something like you need to change it to time.nist.gov and then like update it once you update uh, you know it will uh, the time is synchronized and then you can actually restart the uh, rd service to restart it what you have to do is like uh, uh, go to start and then like uh, search run when the run window opens up type services.msc and then there you will see like whole bunch of services look for the secugen service and then right click on it and then start the service that way like you know it starts the rd service in the background and then as soon as it starts you can see the message just uh, getting loaded again in your uh, secugen rd services window uh, the one that I previously showed and when you have it ready, then you are ready to now uh, open up your uh, uh, Jeevan Praman application. I have actually put the link here instead of like going through step by step process of the Jeevan Praman. I have put the link here. It's actually a straightforward installation once you download it from jeevanpraman.gov.in website. Uh, when your RD service is like, you know, established and the device is ready, just launch this and then follow the step-by-step uh, -step process that is actually in the link of this video. I hope this is uh, useful uh, to you. Uh, thank you for watching.